that were around Igbo Ho's arrest. Hmm. According to President Momodu Buhari, hmm, he is very, very impressed with the DSS who invaded Sunday Igbo Ho's house. <laughs> this is what he said Sunday Igbo Ho did that were around his arrest. Hmm. President Momodu Buhari has praised the security agency for the operation against Igbo Ho. Buhari condemned condemned Igboho's action, describing him as an individual who has been disturbing the peace of the country under the pretense of protecting his king's men. Hmm. According to Daily Post reports, Gabashe, who spoke on behalf of the president, hey, said that the administration of President Buhari respects fundamental rights of citizens to express their views provided their utterances do not morph into the hate speech. <laughs> Sheu said Igoho as an individual has become has been conducting acts of terror and disturbing the peace under the guise of protecting fellow kingsmen. He added that Igoho's utterances and antics have morphed into hate speech. The presidency also accused him of attempting to build an armory and planning to either undermine the unity of Nigeria. <laughs> assault weapons are not tools of peace. Loving people and assault, regardless of who they are and where they are from, the security agencies should treat them all the same, Shewu noted. DSS invade Sunday Igboho's residence on July 1st. The Department of State Service DSS invaded the Soka residence of the Yoruba agitator in Ibadan, the Oyo capital, around 1 a.m. in the morning. According to reports, two of Igboho's associates were killed during a gun duel which lasted for an hour. The DSS arrested 13 of his aides but claimed Igboho escaped. Hmm. Although the DSS has declared him wanted and advised him to surrender himself to the security, the security service during the raid later found weapons, charms, and other confiscated items in his home. Falano condemns eviction on Igboho's residence, calls it no, no true now arrest, okay? In his reaction, a legal luminary, Femi Falano, S.A.N., condemned the DSS invasion on Igboho's residence, declared that the midnight raid was illegal. Okay? Falano said, a situation where nocturnal arrests are made as if you are planning a coup is unacceptable. In the same vein, in the same vein, the Southern governors during a meeting on Monday opposed to the conduct of major security operations without prior notification. They therefore said the security service must ensure they take permission before they operate on anyone's residence. Hmm. Shoyinka expresses shock on how DSS treated Igbo like a criminal. The noble Law trade professor Wale Shoyinka expressed shock on how the DSS had treated Igbo like a clim like a criminal, right? I mean, stressing that the government needs to apologize to the secessionists. Shoyinka said, if Igbo face trial, the federal government will be very embarrassed. <laughs> okay, Buaris dismisses criti criticism by governors Falan and Shoyinka's orders. According to Daily Post reports, the president, Mamadou Buhari, in his response through his spokesman Gaba Shehu, seems not to bother by the condemnation training the invasion of Sunday Igboho's home. Shehu, in a statement, confirmed Buhari is unforstered, adding that the president, in fact, appreciated the security agencies for the wonderful operation they have been doing to making sure peace and unity reign in the country as arrant nonsense. <laughs> this is arrant nonsense. What kind of peace are they talking about? There is no peace anywhere. We all know that there is no peace in Nigeria. So which peace are they saying Igoho is, 
disturbing the peace of Nigeria. Which peace or the peace they are talking about is the one the bandits have given to us, right? Is that the peace they are talking about or which peace are they talking about? We don't longer sleep in our eyes, with, in our houses, with our eyes closed. And yet they are talking about peace. What peace are they talking about? You should go and tell the people of Katsina that rubbish that Nigeria has, are living in peace. Which peace is this man talking about? Does this man really? Anyways, I can't really blame Buhari or say because M. Gabashe is the one who is always coming out to say Around nonsense, and he will claim that um, all the rubbish is coming out from President Bamadu Buhari. The only thing we can believe is when Buhari comes out himself and says that he and says all those things, then we can believe it. But whenever Gabashewu comes out and said, and uh, um, the presidency said through Gabashewu, all that is all cock and bull story because we really do not believe in all that. What we want to hear is direct from the president and not through Gabashewu because we don't really know if Gabashewu indeed do come out to um, give us the real message President Momodu Buhari asked him to give. Let's go to the comment section and hear people's take on this. The governor of Benue State complained to you about Fulani killing innocent people. You never send DSS to fish out the killers of innocent people out and so any arrest, okay? Tell DSS to fish out bandits, I swap. Al Qaeda, Boko Haram, okay? Killer Hellsmen disturbing Nigeria. Fast. Can you imagine that? Hmm. Where are you when Fulani Hellsmen killing innocent people across the country, okay? He might have slept off by then. He went for medical checkup, okay? Brother Gaba, you can combine the type of security sent out to Chief Igbo's house. <laughs> and can the Kanu with bandits, kidnappers, Boko Haram, and Hesme that are tormenting the innocent people of this Nigeria called One Nigeria? Okay, this government did not see anything wrong with Hesme that are carrying AK 47 around. We need to be watchful. To be watchful, the Tement did not love the waste pool of maize, okay, than to eat it and destroy it. All, all many Nigerians rise up to the situation and save Nigeria from collapse. Christians, Muslim, traditional rulers, okay, let us go back to God, okay? Please, if I may ask, where are the headsmen actually getting the AK-47 from? Because I don't think they have access to gun control without a license. Hmm. Okay? Someone here is saying the government, okay, full and headsmen killing and destroying, they are peacekeeping because the sultanas farmers they key we are not human beings right okay whoever you are whoever you are power will soon be cast away you will be like one of one of us then your language will change mr gabashe you were not saying anything to the threats and utterances of late shekau and his colleagues because they are fulfilling your agenda right okay how many, how many of your terrorist bandits, Fulani gender men, have you arrested? Yeah, yeah, people, okay. Mr. President, so you instructed them to go and invade his house in the midnight like criminal. Is what, is that what the law said? Tagging him with all manner of ugly names. Hmm. Buhari, Buhari, you have gotten what you want. You sent DSS after Igboho. As if that was not enough. You arrested Nandekanu. And now you people are giving Sunday Igboho names that does not belong to him. Saying he did that, he did this. You've also went as far as arresting innocent people that were in his house, including a lady. And yet, these people are not even content with all of this. They are still looking for Igboho just to make sure that they deal with him. Like, right from time, Buhari has already said that he will deal with all these secessionists in the language they will understand. So I think he's indeed fulfilling his promise. That is just it. Anyways, you can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening and God bless you.